What is going on guys? Today we've got a FIFA 18 career mode experiment. As you can see, we've got Manchester City playing with the most narrow formation that I thought of anyway uh, as possible as you can make as there are restrictions as you know when you move players around. And no wide guys. So without any wingers, no fullbacks, how are Manchester City going to fare? As you can see, I put players in their best positions. I didn't want to play guys out of position. So we've got like the four centre-backs there. No wingers in like centre-mid positions. Or attacking mid, we've got Silva there. Uh, and then Jesus and Aguero playing striker. So we're going to simulate the season and see how Manchester City are going to go. Are they going to be dominant? Or are they going to really struggle? I'm not even sure. I'm excited to find out. So guys, if you want to see more experiments like this in FIFA career mode, drop a like on the video. If you're new, subscribe, of course. Make sure you turn no notifications on as well. As I want to do more of this normal career modes, yeah, not really interesting uh, for myself anymore. And I know a lot of you guys are the same, just playing that normal career mode. So I Hopefully for content, uh, you will enjoy this. And don't, don't forget to give me some ideas in the comments as well. Uh, but we're going to simulate into the first month of the season. See how they go. End of August. Let's go to the first game, which is against Brighton. Let's see the result. Okay, win 2-0. I'm interested to see if there will be a major difference or not. <laughs> they might just still be dominant. No, ooh, lose 2-1. This Bournemouth one will be interesting, and it's lose 2-1, so it does look like... After that first one against Brighton, I was thinking, oh, it might just be a normal Manchester City team. <laughs> but, after the next two results, yeah, it looks like no wide players is affecting them. To take a look at that formation again, it <laughs> it, it could just be seen as that like very narrow 4-1-2-1-2, but it's kind of different. The four is not a normal four at the back. It's four centre-backs. So, yeah, they could be really exploited out wide. So what I will do from here, I will simulate every single month uh, for each one to see how they progress uh, throughout the season. Hopefully that's all good. So a lot of games in this month, big ones too. So all those games played through now, and it could really shape the season, we'll say. Were those two losses a bit unlucky? Let's see. Liverpool draw 1-1. One, one. Not sure how much to take out of that. Then a win. 1-0 against CSKA. Watford. So they're very narrow wins there, those couple. Then a 2-0 loss against Huddersfield. So it's clearly showing it's not normal Man City, not normal dominant Man City. That is for sure. It's just on, how extreme. That's a win. The, see, the wins are very, very narrow, like the formation. So that makes sense. Uh, and again, 1-0. And then losing 3-1 against Charlotte. I really think against the best teams, it will be hard. So after that month, I just want to take a look, at least the Premier League table, to see how things are looking. Manchester City sitting in eighth. It's going to be its really hard to win with Man United up there with 16 points, only losing the one. And you can see goal difference zero. I say narrow wins, but still eight goals for, eight goals against. Uh, they are struggling with the narrow formation. But I think it needs a new name. This is not narrow. This is anorexic. But now into the next month, this is October. Got a couple Champions League group stage games there and what seems like winnable league games. A couple home ones there against Stoke and Burnley. Let's see how it eventuates. So there's the results done and dusted. Let's see what has happened. Stoke City, again, 2-1, just getting the victories. Still counts as three points. Monaco, 2-0 there, decent. The draw against Burnley, 2-2. Now, West Brom lose 5-1. That surely shows something crazy there. But also, guys, keep in mind, when you simulate away games in career mode, they usually go bad, even if you're a good team. Unless you you got really, really high-rated players, you can still get wins uh, pretty regularly, but it still throws up uh, crazy results away from home. And then a 1-0 victory against CSKA. But next up, we'll just move to November. There's not as many games in November. So before checking the league table, all that, and Champions League uh, group stage, uh, the table will simulate this month. Those games played through. Let's check out the first one in Arsenal. And it was a victory. Big home result there, 1-0. 
Now Leicester, see, ah, oh, that's a loss away from home. It's really struggling in those. Monaco, get the win there. Good result. And then it is a 1-0. There are a lot of 1-0 results. Uh, we'll say that. So defensively, it's it's hard to say good defensively because like that 5-1 was shocking. But yeah, a lot of, maybe it's against the lower teams. Like Huddersfield, normally they dominate. Uh, Leicester, like, yeah, that 3-1. So you can't say good defensively. But yeah, interesting. They don't pile on the goals. But here you can see sitting in ninth, kind of mid-table. But interestingly, Liverpool and Arsenal doing worse at the moment. Liverpool's actually played an extra game uh, than Man City at this point. And Chelsea uh, currently at the top. Uh, them and Manchester United only having lost the one league game in 13. But the Champions League is looking pretty straightforward there. 15 points, but yeah, easy teams. Uh, for Monaco, though, uh, maybe expecting a bit more. You would expect a bit more from Monaco's results. I thought they'd be the team to finish second, but now uh, we are going to simulate a bit more. We will get into December, which is always pretty busy, a lot of games, so let's get into it. Uh, yeah, see how the last month of the year goes. Okay, here, plenty of games to see the results of in this month. West Ham, oh, draw, nil-nil. And then, well, you saw Southampton there. Loss at home, 2 nil. So even losses at home, not just away. And Anderlecht, see, that's a loss. Damn, not good. Uh, now we go to the Manchester United one, which would be huge. And it's a loss, 3-1. Then losing 4-1 against Swansea. The season in the league has gone short. Sure, they've lost it. They've lost it. They're taking all these owls right now. And Bournemouth, 2-0. Win against Newcastle. But you're not going to get too much excited because then Crystal Palace lose 4-0. I didn't know that. I was just, I was like, yeah, you know that. But oh, wow, what? That's crazy. Just from the previous results that, yeah, it's not going to matter. And then that just piles on 4-0. They might be close to getting relegated. At the, well, might get fired. No, I don't want to turn into one I get fired. I did these in, like, I did other ones crazy in the past uh, experiments. And I want to at least see out the season. How that, well, oh, they're dropping though. Damn, where's Crystal Palace? They're on 22 points. More, not that far away from the relegation zone, but surely I'd be fired before that, being around that zone. So, yeah, let's head into the new year and see what happens. But while these games play through, I was just thinking, if I were to do this with one of the lower teams in the league, just for example, say West Brom, they'll go very, very bad, I assume. <laughs> but who knows? They do bad just normally, <laughs> like this season. But it looks like City survived January at least. I wonder if they can survive. We'll, we'll see the result first at least. Okay, loss against Watford. And just, again, narrow against Fleetwood. 1-0. You'd expect more from that. But maybe the break there, couple-week break. Will that help against Newcastle United? No, it doesn't. It's another 1-0. Then Liverpool... 1-1 one, one in the FA Cup, and then, okay, a 1-0 win against West Brom. But like I said, West Brom, uh, nothing too special. And that keeps the manager rating at 66. City in 15th. Now, how's the league sitting, though? 28. See, mm, that Crystal Palace position, though. If City, like, it's almost, I want them to keep doing bad, so Manchester City get relegated from this. Uh, honestly, I didn't expect it, like, I was thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't even do this, because they'll probably still win. I didn't realize, because it's still, okay, it is pretty crazy formation, but not extreme, like, none at defense, like, no players in defense, you know, or, like, everyone in defense. Those ones do terrible, and this one, it seemed kind of in between for me. But we're going to simulate February. Will City survive it? And now to check out February. Still not fired. Still in a job. 2-1 loss against Burnley. How about Liverpool? They win that. Decent. 2-1 on the replay. And then how about in the Premier League game? What's the odds they lose? <laughs> there you go. They lose away from home. And then Chelsea, another draw. And then Napoli, 2-0 loss. Yeah, not, not going very well. 
I'm surprised, yeah, the manager, I haven't, <laughs> I say I, I'm not really managing them, but okay, 2-2. Two, two. What the, what, what's the Premier League looking like? Are they close to the relegation zone? It's still 62, I think if it's above that 60, your job is safe, they've got the replay in the FA Cup there, but let's check the league. And they are getting closer to the relegation zone. I really, I don't want to get fired. I don't want the manager, I say they get, I don't want the manager to get fired because, oh, I'd love to finish with them getting relegated. That would be huge. Oh, let's see. But I can just imagine being fired will happen before that. But if not, that will be crazy. But March, important, very important month of March. Gonna simulate it. There's a chance, there's a chance for being sacked, I'd say. Okay, it hasn't, hasn't happened with only one game. Just that Brighton one left. We're gonna survive March. Hopefully, I just thought, knowing my luck, we'll get sacked then. But no. Okay, see Leicester, that's a draw. I want to see that Chelsea one. Okay, the replay, no surprises. And then in the Premier League. Oh, I want to see lots of losses now without getting fired. Okay, they... Does mean they're still in the Champions 3 now? What was that one? Yeah, okay. But they're still in the Champions League. That's maybe w what's keeping me in the job. So, I'd like that. I prefer... Keep going in the Champions League, but do crap in the Premier League. <laughs> Get relegated. Uh, okay, 4-1 against Brighton. That's a bit expected, though. Uh, see, the manager rating, 52. St being still in the Champions League is definitely... Still keeping me in the job. But, hmm, really depends what Newcastle do now, I'd say. Still, okay, maybe two positions still available. Southampton's completely gone. They're terrible. And now, April. Those Champions League games there is against Sporting. Quarter final. They're beatable for Man City, even with a unfamiliar formation, let's say. Let's sim the month and see... How it goes. Okay, we survive. Let's see. Okay, it's a win. 2-1. That could almost make them survive, to be honest. For the rest of the season. And not get relegated. Uh, especially beating Sporting. Okay, suddenly good form. See, Swansea. Two. Where's the good form coming from? Where was this earlier in the season, City? Then, then two. What a month. Surely that results... Okay, the manager rating is still around the same. Uh, we'll check out the league, because Champions League semi-finals. So that's how the league's sitting. They pushed up to 10th with that month of form. Whoo, that, that was needed. That was needed. Maybe just to play out the season, but the manager rating's still bad. Being fired could still be a chance by the end of the season. But it's, it's just about finished. Just survive it. Survive it, City. So, what we will do, we'll just simulate until after this Southampton one. Okay, still in a job. Let's check out the result. Okay, the first one, first leg against Spurs. It's 2-1 loss. And then draw against Huddersfield. The four Yeah, just chapter. I was confused because there, there was a league game against Tottenham as well. After this, which, okay, knocked out in the semi-final. So, yeah, the drop... I'm not sure what happened in the previous month. They were playing like normal Man City. And then completely dominate against Spurs. And then losing Southampton. The manager rating... At least, I suppose, I can say we survived. <laughs> with a manager rating of 49. But that finish is not bad, considering how it was looking. Bit disappointed. I was like, ooh... <laughs> I could I could say I got Manchester City relegated, but not quite. Let me know what you think. Yeah, like, I think the final finish doesn't look as interesting as the season look as a whole. That's why I want to simulate every month, because there was some really bad form. I know 10th for Man City is terrible, but how it was looking, yeah, there was some really, really terrible months there. And then I'll just simulate to the end of the month. Don't think anything will happen. So, yeah, that will be it. We'll leave it here. Nothing else happening as we reach the end of the season. So, considering that form, I'm surprised they made it as far as they did uh, into the semi-finals of the Champions League. But the Premier League season was horrendous. And like I said, that, that last 
kind of month, well, the month before, <laughs> the previous month, uh, a lot of wins. I think they got us, I say us, <laughs> yeah, Manchester City into a decent position, not where it looks horrendous, almost getting relegated. So let me know if you thought this video was entertaining and give me some ideas for more experiments because this was pretty fun. I just thought of it myself. I thought, oh, what could we do? Where could I put these players uh, for an interesting formation? And yeah, I just went with all narrow. So maybe I could try all players out wide. I don't really know experiments that's been done before. I've checked a few, but yeah, there could be a lot on YouTube. But let me know ones you want to see from me personally. So that's it for now, guys. Hopefully enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.